Has anyone else beside me noticed that AOC have a mental health issue? I think this female is crazy. That's my own personal opinion. Everyone is not home upstairs. She's missing a few bolts and screws in her head. Just listen to some of the things she say. You know, not just the reasoning why she spent the day, the inauguration day, at a union strike. But just things she's said since she's been in office. The girl is not stable. How could they have someone like this in Congress making decisions? Even when it comes to the Green Deal, the idea that she came up with and they're now running with this. Just look at all the executive orders that Joe Biden is now signing. It makes no sense at all. So maybe it does in a way make sense because they had people like Joe Biden and Kamala Harris as president and vice president. But I want you guys to listen to what she said. You know, she's got a, this is a Karen moment. This is no more than a Karen moment, an AOC Karen moment when she's playing fearful. Oh, I, I, I didn't attend because I was scared that the Republicans were going to kill me. And then when he asked the question, do you really think the members of Congress would, would, would hurt you? She never answered the question. Well, somebody did bring a gun on the floor. Well, maybe they brought their firearm on the floor because of the same reason you're afraid. Because of the attack on the Capitol building. Not long ago, right? But I want you guys to listen to what this Karen has to say. And tell me what you think. This was supposed to be a show of force and unity and you weren't there. Explain it. Yeah, you know, I think we also had very real security concerns as well, um, as you mentioned earlier. Um, we still don't yet feel safe around other members of Congress. You really think that colleagues of yours in Congress may do you dirty? <laughs> Yeah, well, one just tried to bring a gun on the floor of the House today. I believe it was uh, Representative Andy Harris of Maryland. He tried to um, bring in a gun onto the House floor. For individuals who don't know, guns are not allowed in the District of Columbia, and certainly um, the House floor is uh, ha there are separate house rules that prohibit um, the bringing in of firearms. Now, these are rules that date back to the Civil War, and um, these are individuals that are trying to sneak firearms either illegally or in direct violation of House rules. Why does a member of Congress need to sneak a gun onto the House floor? Do you think they're bringing it in there because they want to protect all of you from, um, you know, insurrectionists like we saw a couple of weeks ago? Or do you think there really is a chance that you may be the enemy? Well, here's what I'll say. The moment you bring a gun onto the House floor in violation of rules, you put everyone around you in danger. It is irresponsible, it is reckless, but beyond that, it is in violation of rules. You are openly um, disobeying the rules that we have established as a community, which means that you cannot be trusted to be held accountable to what we've decided as, as a community. Wait a minute, all of the rules and the laws that the Democrats had broken, just think back last summer, the summer of 2020, and now you're concerned about the rules. But maybe she's just referring to the rules of House Congress, right? Maybe those are the rules she's talking about. Care nothing about the people because she was in support of Black Lives Matter and Antifa when they were burning down businesses, when they were attacking cops, burning down police stations, shooting police officers in the head, she was in support of that. So now that it hit the front door of the Capitol, now everybody's in panic, everybody's in concern, they're concerned about it. It makes no sense. And if you notice, she keep putting emphasis on guns, brought a gun, a gun, 
this is to get inside the people's head people that are already fearful they're already fearful so when they hear guns and emphasis put on guns they're bound to take sides with her not taking time out to think this through because if she's so feared of guns well the Capitol building is surrounded by security it's surrounded by Capitol, uh, Capitol Police it's surrounded by Secret Service the military so you're surrounded by guns but yet you fear one Congress member that brought his firearm on the Congress floor because he wanted to protect himself. Now I'm almost sure that this is one of the same people that vote against gun rights and they want to attack legal gun owners. So maybe AOC should not be protected by a gun. Maybe the security, the Capitol Police, security, military, when they see her in trouble, don't protect them, don't protect her with your gun. See, so I think she's mentally unstable. I really don't think she should be in Congress. I don't know. I might be the only one to think that way. So what do you think? Do you think that she's emotionally stable? Do you think that that she doesn't have it all upstairs? That she's got several screws and bolts missing in her head? So feedback and tell me what you think until next time. Peace.